What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, ncso 7 here, and make sure you hit that like button, and make sure you subscribe, and make sure you watch the entire video. Oh my god, I hate myself sometimes. Anyways, what's up, guys? It's your boy, ncso 7 here, doing another Inside Opinions, and today we're going to be doing stuff, or <laughs> talking about clout chasers and why they're... They're bad. So let's get so start right off the bat and let me explain what a clout chaser is to the four of you who don't know. Basically, a clout chaser is somebody who is either like a YouTube, it could be a YouTuber, someone on Twitter, someone on Instagram, some anything like that, and they try to crave for attention. But instead of actually having skill and actually trying to be funny and actually get the amount of attention they want. They instead just bank off of various uh, other things, mainly illegal stuff, specifically, may, I don't know, calling someone who recently passed away at 3 a.m. or just licking the inside of ice cream buckets at the stores, contaminating the ice cream, as well as using other people for your own success. Now, there's a lot to unpack here, <clears throat> though not too much, though. But based on what I've just said, you've probably already known the first few problems. The first problem I have with them is that they do illegal stuff. And I'm not really down for this sort of thing. Nobody likes people who just commits crimes. Like, nobody likes that. Nobody. Nobody likes that. It's, it's against the law. There, there's not really much else I have to say. It's against the law. And, and yeah, this will get you some attention... But the thing is, I mean, honestly, it's not giving you the intention you want. In fact, I can just see this leading to straight up bullying because you shouldn't be doing that. And I will say right now, that bullying is 100% justified because breaking the law and doing this sort of stuff, like especially like licking the inside of ice cream buckets at the, at like the grocery store, that's pretty messed up because it contaminates the ice cream and People and consumers don't want to just fall victim to potentially getting diseases. That's nasty. And not only that, it's pretty disgusting for a human being. Honestly, I, I would not give... Whoever does stuff like that and thinks it's acceptable should honestly be locked away in jail for like the rest of their life. And just eat contaminated food full of diseases and stuff like that. So, yeah, that, that's just... Amazing. And it's not just that. There's other stuff as well, such as using other people for your own success. Uh, a lot of people do this where there's somebody that's popular, someone who's getting a good amount of attention. And then there's this other person who nobody knows of who basically makes videos on this person, basically trying to just milk the hell out of them just so they can get attention. And that's not as bad as licking the inside of ice cream buckets, but it's... It's still bad because you're not making your own gimmick. You're just using someone else. And the and the second thing, why the second biggest problem, and probably my biggest problem, is that these people have some of the absolute worst reasoning ever for why they do what they do. Like, I mean, honestly speaking, though, like I've already mentioned all that stuff. Like, obviously, if people are these people are really doing this sort of stuff, then they really aren't that right in the head in the first place. But they have some of the absolute worst logic ever. Oh, like I heard one one time of one who just said, it's fine, you just have to get popular, you just gotta make sure you don't get arrested. Yeah, great idea. Great idea. Commit a crime, but just make sure you don't get arrested. That's, the, yeah, yeah, beautiful. But they have some of the absolute worst logic ever. And... And the other th issue that I have is that some people support this. And the thing is, most of these clout chasers, I didn't even know until like, oh, I don't even know that many in the first place. And I didn't know about them until like way after their controversy. But the people that do support these clout chasers, they, it, it's the worst thing ever because it doesn't matter how many followers or subscribers they have. If there's somebody, there can literally be one person that's 
saying, keep up the good work on committing these crimes and just using other people. It's a great thing. Keep it up. They, 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 then it's going to make these collateristers think that they're on top of the world. It'll make them think like they're on PewDiePie's level. Just millions and millions of followers and people just rushing outside of their house just because one person said to keep up the good work when almost everyone else is like, no, go, go to hell. But... That's my opinion, but that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Also, I'm trying to make the inside opinions more short because that was ultimately the plan for the series was to make videos shorter, but ultimately that didn't really end up happening because many videos ended up past the six minute mark, but in this one probably will. But yeah, I'm going to try to make these, keep these videos a little bit more brief. Also, uh, surprise, there's actually going to be an, an extra episode tomorrow, another Inside Opinions tomorrow, which will be on the uh, presidential election. So uh, that should be kind of interesting. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. And this is NCSO7 signing out.